Greetings, Commanders, and welcome back to another episode of ARCs. Okay, well, I'm back in the plasma shirt today. I love this shirt. It's got that nice transparent look to it. Today we're doing an episode of ARCs on ARP. He usually was number one first in the comments for every video. Of course, he did uh, lose his... I don't know, his uh, winning streak for some time due to the nature of his work. Uh, but I do think he does have another weird, uh, I don't know, claim to fame. He is only 21 years old. He's very young. He's a very young player to be, you know, featured in episodes of ARCs. But uh, he's self-made. So today we're going to be going through a brief rundown of what's in this account. The value of his leadership, the value of his gear, the value of his research, and the value of his army. I'm going to tell you that now that uh, resource purchasing from Chinese vendors is now kind of a thing, uh, the overall cost of armies, which used to be the number one cost of the game, is now severely diminished. 20 times less than it used to be. Uh, but I will be talking about that here in a bit. So ARP, thanks for letting us do this. I should probably give a shout out to the Spec Ops Discord team on Dom. Uh, that includes, oh God, Warlord, Rebby, Strange, and Rolling Shoes. Is that right? Rolling Shoes. Rolling Stoned. Oh, geez. What a name. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> let's get into this. So, ARP is a ghillie main with 600,000 leadership here. Uh, 30,000 there. I think a total of about 700,000 leadership. A 1.6 million leadership commander is 30 grand. So just over a third of that is about mm, $12,000. Okay, let's talk gear. So a level 30 piece of gear costs about 300 bucks. Level 35 to 40 is about 1,000. And then level 45 is $4,000 per piece. I know people, people are... People don't believe how crazy this game is. But, for example, this is about a $600 piece of gear. $1,000, $1,000, $1, about $1,000, and then $300. Uh, so we'll call that just over $3,500. Does that sound about right? Mm, at least. Let's call it $4,000, make it nice and even. All right, $4,000 there. Plus, he's got three three-piece gems. So that's another $500 each. Uh, we're just breaking $5,500. $5,500 hundred dollars and just gear on his main the rest of the gear oh there we go 300 300 there's another 1500 there uh so we'll call it i'd say seven thousand total what a sh wow that stella's broke look at that. all right seven thousand in gear twelve thousand in leadership let's jump on to research uh that's not research let's jump on to research uh there okay he he likes the ghetto old ship i mean dude it's 2019 the, the tail into 2019 get the new ship already okay uh he's got to we got to go to advanced battle and take a look infantry research ah level 8 infantry there okay that's not that's not too expensive level 5 level 5 minimum there hyperspace infantry 6 not too bad but he is a tier 12 account tier 12 plus account just to get there is 20000 so, you could argue maybe 22000 here. $22,000. Wow. So, that's 12000 leadership, 7000 in gear, 22000 in research. The last thing to check is, is how much of an army does he have? Uh, which used to be the deal breaker, which used to really you know separate accounts. Having a full march of a main commander is really what separated the big dogs from the rest of us. But here's his ghillie. Auto load. 21 or 2,000 per slot. Like I said, that's just almost 40% of a max leadership march. Uh, so just over three, so almost three and a half slots at 40%. Uh, so that is about $800 per slot. 8, 16, 24 and a half makes it $2,800 in troops, which really compared to the rest of it's not that bad. The most of his money is tied up in getting to tier 12 research so the grand total of this account comes out to 12,000 in leadership 7,000 in gear uh what did we say the army was 2,800 and missing one thing guys 22,000 in research 
total account value comes out to 36,807. So, so as far as Arx is concerned, uh, and here's the big march. Oh, we're going to dominate this guy. ARP is the youngest person to ever be featured on ARC, and probably the least expensive account to ever be featured on ARCs, but he was too big to be Pimp My ARC. Big things coming for ARCs. I've kind of put this uh, series off to the side for a while. I've been working on a lot of camera stuff and editing stuff. Uh, I'm excited to bring it back, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick episode of ARCs. ARP, thanks for letting us do this. And if you liked the video, leave a like. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And uh, for those of you that are wondering, is this real? Uh, the real money. There is no way around it. In order to build this account and play it for a year to get here, doing events the cheapest possible, you couldn't do it for less than 30000 36000 is a pretty cheap estimate. Uh, that doesn't include any of the other stuff. Any of the PvP, the speed-ups, the rush to Tier 9. It's very possible this account has over forty to fifty thousand dollars poured into it, but I guarantee you couldn't do it for less than thirty six thousand. So take that, swallow it, digest it, do with what you want with it. It's twenty nineteen. Mobile games are crazy. This game format is crazy. I don't know why this game is legal, uh, but as long as it is, we'll keep doing it.